Hey guys, welcome to another BitBytes. I'm Dean the Vest Lord DeFalco, and I want to talk to you today about some stuff that's going on with me. Uh, I just got back from MAGFest last week, uh, well, two weeks ago now. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Matt Much. I'm going to put some pictures uh, up here of some stuff that he uh, he posted on his Instagram, at StuffY, if you get a chance to check it out. Give him a follow. Uh, he's an amazing photographer, and he really deserves all the praise that I give him. Uh, just uh, real quick for those of you who don't know, MAGFest is Music and Games Festival. There's a lot of really great panels and uh, music and musicians that get together every year at the Gaylord National Convention Center in uh, Maryland. And we all have a great time, listen to some awesome video game music, check out some great panels, and typically drink a bit and uh, have a good time partying. Uh, it's a four-day festival. It takes place typically at the start of January with a bunch of offshoot festivals uh, going throughout the year. But MAGFest is the biggest, and uh, I, I had such a great time there that I just really wanted to give it a shout-out. And, uh, man, I'm still still tired from it. Still uh, recovering. So, yeah. Uh, the uh, next thing I wanted to talk about real quick was uh, this little guy here. Um, I got a... Wii HDMI um, adapter for, for my original Wii. And uh, it was 10 bucks, my coworker uh, pointed it out to me and I was like, ah, I don't know, these things, uh, I, don't, I don't know if they work or not, so maybe it's not the best idea. Um, so I was, I was debating it for a while and then I said, ah, you know, it's 10 bucks. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, so I plugged it in, I uh, started it up and everything. And while it works, it doesn't work great. And I don't know if that's because um, it's just converting a standard signal to um, a, a HD signal and something's getting uh, mixed up in the interim because I have dirty power in this house and that creates weird scan lines and stuff on a lot of my SD uh, signal um, consoles, whether it be the GameCube, Dreamcast, PlayStation, PS2, they all do the same thing. I get really weird, like, uh, I think they call it fish boning. Um, and it, it's, it's not fun to look at, and it sucks even more when it goes through on my recordings. So I was going to use this as an easy way to play GameCube games, but not yet, not till I figure this out. Um, verdict's still out on whether this is worth $10 or not. I mean... At the very least, it will play with no lag, uh, and it sounds fine. Um, but the the video interference, I, for lack of a better term, or hum on the television, it's kind of a big deal for me. That could be a deal breaker. So uh, I'm not too sure if this is worth the purchase. It. I'll get back to you on it. The next thing I wanted to show you real quick was this guy, uh, which is a PSP Go. I have it right side up. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a PSP without a disk drive. There's no disk drive in this. This was when um, Sony was like, ah, I guess I guess this whole PSP thing, everyone's over, so let's, uh, let's get rid of the disks. Let's just make everything downloadable. And uh, it's cool. It's real cool. Uh, as you can see, um, I'm playing Persona 3 on here, and that's what I wanted to talk about. Persona 3 is an awesome game. Uh, my girlfriend, Michelle, God bless her soul, because uh, she's the one who kind of got me into Persona a little bit. I played 4 when I was younger. And, uh, not that much younger, but a bit. And, um, I, I couldn't get into it. And she said, oh, you should try 3. Three's like a great place to start, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, it's a really good game. Uh, and, and maybe, you know, starting from the beginning will give you appreciation for, like, what came after that. So I did, and, uh, I mean, the game's, the game's amazing. There's, there's not much else to say. You know, if, if you're a big Japanese RPG fan, they went and did their own thing with this game. And that makes it super neat. Like, there's a lot of really, really cool social aspects to it. Uh, the dungeon crawling's good. The monsters are super original, especially if you've pl never played a Persona game. You might be somewhat disgusted and intrigued at the same time, because they're all gods and demons. So uh, that's, that's really, really neat. Um, I, I, I would recommend checking it out if you have a PS Vita or a PSP. Um, it's like 20 bucks. So, I, I mean, I, I've, it's like a 50, 60 hour game. So for 20 bucks, you can't really go wrong. Uh, the graphics are PSP, PS2 graphics. So don't expect anything mind blowing, but the gameplay is what you're coming here for. So if, if you like good JRPG gameplay, Persona 3 is the way to go. And uh, I got a PSP Go. So yeah, that's cool. I also have a uh, PSP 2000 
that I got from my friend Jesse, Jesse the same time I got this because she borrowed both of them and I totally forgot she had them. Uh, she had them for about seven or eight years. She played Final Fantasy on them. She really enjoyed Final Fantasy and then she put them down and stored them. So uh, thank you, Jesse, for taking care of my babies. Uh, I'm very happy to say they came back to me in the condition they left. So uh, yeah, that was really, really cool to get those back. Um, I guess the last thing I want to talk about is uh, I'm almost at the end of Wolfenstein. Actually, once I beat Persona, I'm going to go back and finish Wolfenstein 2. Uh, that game is really fucking hard. Everything they say about it is absolutely correct. It's a super hard game. Uh, like, it's unfairly hard to a degree because a lot of the, the difficulty stems from a bunch of cheap shots going on. And then on top of that... The, the indication system to when you're getting shot isn't that great. So, I it's, it's a good game. The story is amazing. I can't wait to get to the end of it. I will never, ever replay it again. Because it is just so, like, almost spirit-breakingly difficult at points. And it's not for any good reason besides just being cheap. So, yeah, there's, there's that. Uh, I, I would pick it up. I got it for 20 bucks on Amazon during uh, Black Friday or Christmas, one of the two, it was on sale. And I was like, man, that's a really good price. I need to get that. I also got Prey. So Prey is going to be the game I'm playing after I beat Wolfenstein. So yeah, for 20 bucks, it's amazing. I would not pay $60 for it. I would be really upset if I paid $60 for it because it is, it's just kind of kind of lame the, the way you die sometimes, a lot of the time, a good chunk of the time. Uh, all right. Yeah, so guys, uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Check out Vest and Friends podcast for me talking with my friend Glenn and other friends that we have on there from time to time. Uh, you can see that on iTunes or at our website, www.geekade.com. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can hit me up on Twitter. I am at kimono underscore vestlord. Or you can shoot us an email at mail at geekade.com. Till next time, guys, stay vestling and keep playing games.